I'm Carol Vorderman and this is Perfect 10, daily workout for your brain. It takes just 10 minutes a day, but it can last a lifetime. 10 questions, 10 points, all done in just 10 minutes. And I have some fabulous questions for you today, all designed to educate, to entertain and to irritate you. But I know they'll leave you feeling smarter too. And that is what we're about. It's Thursday, so how are your scores looking? If you've played along since Monday, you will by now have a score out of a possible 30 points. So let us know in the comments. We love seeing your scores, no matter what they are. And do make sure you subscribe, you follow and you like to get the next episode as soon as it drops. We're here Monday to Friday. And if you fancy going back to play our previous weeks, then you can. Of course, they're all there for you whenever you have a spare 10 minutes. Don't forget to head on over to at Perfect and Carol on social media for even more exclusive and very visual content over there, bonus questions dropping every day. Now, before we begin today's Perfect 10, let's solve yesterday's anagram, not playing for points with the anagram. I asked you, which British TV show is an anagram of Ego Trap? Did you get it right? The answer is Top Gear. Say no more, Squire. That was just for fun. But from now on in, you're playing for points. So can you beat the questions and get a Perfect 10 score today? Well, here come the questions. Question one, your starter for a perfect 10. Let's start with a trip across the pond. What is the only letter of the alphabet that doesn't appear in the name of a US state? Hopefully that will get you a point on your scorecard straight out of the gate. Question two is hearsay. You're about to hear some sounds which relate to a well-known phrase or saying. So what phrase is hidden in these sounds? My name is Kate. Bush and I wrote Wuthering Heights. My name is Kate Bush and I wrote Running Up That Hill. Everybody stop doing that around me. Here, say, say what you hear. Can't go far wrong. Question three now. It's time for Carol Lateral Thinking. What is the 11th letter to the left of the 20th letter? in the English alphabet. It's time to put your memory to the test. So listen up, listen good. Today, we're on a camping trip. Did you hear about the last group of campers that pitched up here? The year was 1973, 50 years ago to the day. Three girls, four boys, just like us. It was around 11 p.m. when one of the boys went to get some more blankets and some more batteries from the van. It could have been more than 30 meters away, just like where ours is now. But he never came back. When they went looking for their friend, they searched all over the campsite. They all froze when they heard it. Tap, 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 tap. Knocking on the trees, and then they saw the eyes. 12 glowing red eyes. Guys, where's Tim? Spooky. I hope you weren't too scared though to pay attention because here comes your question four. In which year did the last group of campers go missing? As always, I'll give you the answers after today's final question. Questions five, six, and seven are all part of the same family. The three Fs, the frivolous, familiar, and fun. Testing your knowledge of everyday life. So here is question five. Tony, Carmela, Meadow, and Anthony Jr. are members of which US TV family? Moving on, question six. Which piece must be taken or trapped to win a game of chess? We've had a few chess questions this series, so hopefully a few of you will know the answer to that. Question seven, it's all about children's literature. In which children's novel would you find the characters Aunt Sponge and Aunt Spiker? Does that sound familiar? Where have you heard those names before? You'll need your word head on for this next question, though, as it's time for One In, One Out, Round Eight. Which letter can you change in the word bars, B-A-R-S, to get something we've all got two of? Is that perfect 10 heading your way? Because question nine definitely is. Time for I Know I Know This, because I'm sure you've got the answer in that great brain of yours somewhere, so try this. 
Which other continent is closest to Antarctica? Is it South America, Australia, or Africa? No Googling you lot either. See if you can picture a globe or a map in your mind and find the answer. The final question of the day. Well done. As always, it's our daily riddle. Here we go. You can't touch me, but the more of me there is, the less you see. What am I? Remember, it's a riddle. And there you have it, another perfect 10. Complete. Well done. Answers coming up in just a second, so stick around. Don't forget, as ever, to like and subscribe so you don't miss tomorrow's questions. And if you want to send me your puzzles, go to at Perfect 10 Carol, because I love hearing from you and getting all your videos and your pictures of where you're playing Perfect 10. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, 10 questions, 10 points, all done in just 10 minutes. But did you score a Perfect 10 today? Here's where you find out. Question one, I started with the question, what is the only letter of the alphabet that doesn't appear in the name of a US state? And the answer is the letter Q. Yes, every other letter in the alphabet appears in the names of the states, including X, New Mexico, and Z, Arizona. But there isn't a Q. Question two was hearsay. Which well-known phrase or saying was hidden in these sounds? My name is Kate. Bush and I wrote Wuthering Heights. My name is Kate Bush and I wrote Running Up That Hill. Here, say, say what you hear. Shout it out. The answer was Beat Around the Bush. We know these are tricky. They're a, a lot of fun, though. I hope. And they do get your brain working. And concentration, of course, is something we like to test here on the show. But don't worry if you didn't get it. I didn't get that one either. Come back for more tomorrow. You'll get one in the end, I promise. Question three, Carol Lateral thinking something a bit different. What is the 11th letter to the left of the 20th letter in the English alphabet? Well, how do you work it out? The 20th letter of the English alphabet is T. And so the 11th letter to the left of the letter T is the letter I. Question four was a spooky campfire memory question. I asked... In which year did the last group of campers go missing? Well, it was 50 years to the day, 1973. I'd stay away from those woods if I were you. We moved into our three Fs. Question five was this. Tony, Carmela, Meadow and Anthony Jr. are members of which US TV family? Well, they're all part of the Sopranos. Apparently, the Sopranos was so realistic the real mob thought there was a connected guy on the inside. FBI agents told the Sopranos creative team that on Monday mornings, all anyone could talk about was the Sopranos. And on the wiretaps they'd collected from the weekend, that's all the real life mobsters could talk about as well. Question six, which piece must be taken or trapped to win a game of chess? I think most of you will have said either king or queen. Well, the answer is the king. Checkmate. Question seven, in which children's novel would you find the characters Aunt Sponge and Aunt Spiker? Well, those are the names of the cruel aunts in the Roald Dahl novel, James and the Giant Peach. It actually was Roald Dahl's first children's book and was almost about a giant cherry. The inspiration for the giant peach came from a cherry tree in the orchard at Roald Dahl's countryside home. And he began to wonder what would happen if one of the cherries kept growing and growing and growing. And he considered several different giant fruits, but eventually he settled on a peach. Question eight, one in, one out. Which letter can you change in the word bars to get something we've all got two of? Well, if you change the letter B for a letter E, you get the word ears, E-A-R-S. Question nine was, I know I know this, but did you? I asked, which other continent is closest to Antarctica, South America, Australia, or Africa? And the answer is South America. There's roughly 600 miles between the two continents. And that's about the same distance as that between London and Berlin. And finally, question 10. You can't touch me, but the more of me there is, the less you see. What am I? The answer is darkness. So 
How did you do? Did you score perfect 10? If not, don't worry. Always another chance tomorrow. Every day spent with this family is a day where you've given your mind a good old workout. So let us know how you did. Send me your scores. I love seeing how everyone's doing. And keep sending in your pictures as well. Pictures of your scorecard, pictures of anything really. It's great to see everyone playing along. Join the Perfect 10 family on, you know it, at Perfect 10 Carol, Facebook, Insta and TikTok. We've got lots of content there every day for you uh, to keep your brain ticking over. I will be back tomorrow with 10 more questions. But before I say goodbye now, I'll leave you with today's anagram. Which TV host is an anagram of Calm Raw Vendor? C-A-L-M, Calm, R-O-A-R, Raw Vendor. Vendor, V-E-N-D-O-R. Find out in tomorrow's show when we'll have a whole new day of questions, riddles and puzzles. I'm Carol Vorderman. That was my perfect 10. I hope you have a perfect day. <laughs>